Oh my God, I'm gonna start showing these. And oh, whoo. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? First, I want to open up by saying, y'all ain't shit. Y'all ain't shit. I know what the fuck y'all trying to do. Y'all trying to make a nigga cry and it ain't going to happen, man. My Patreons and I, we have meetings all the time. We have meetings all the time. We have um, audio and video meetings all the time. And um, there's this one guy in our Discord named DJ. I don't care how many people are in the meeting. It could be 10, 12, 20, 30 of us in the meeting. Just talking about stuff with the channel, talking about our lives, talking about regular stuff. I don't give a damn what we talking about. We could be talking about basketball. It could be so many of us. But when DJ talks... When DJ speak, it's clear. Everybody's just like, it's like nobody else is even talking. DJ is just, ah. That's his voice, man. I tell you, man, y'all. <laughs> Every time we hear DJ say something on the dag on Discord, I say, man, DJ, your microphone is amazing. You sound dope. So, my Discord, thought, my, my Patreon members thought it would be a good idea to make me sound just as good as DJ. See, y'all need to understand, man, I don't come from a place where you have so many people who care about you like this. This is this is new. This is beautiful. This is I'm a tough dude, man. I'm a skinny dude, but I'm a tough dude. I'm a tough guy. But my people are freaking amazing. I went to Dad gonna check my mail. I went to go get my mail. And I got a daggone DJ mic. The guy DJ that I was talking about from the Discord. I got one in my mail. From simply mentioning that I love the way his sound is in the meetings. We have meetings because there's a bunch of people who want to see my channel do great. Somehow, some way, they believe in little old me. Y'all don't know how much this means to me. This one little gesture, what it means to me. This. It's a big gesture, but I don't think you understand what this does. I don't know if y'all have seen my, um, my merch that says Welfare Boy. I don't know if many of you know what that means. When I was three year old, when I was three years old, I was abandoned by my mother. Me, my four year old brother, and my one year old brother. My my mother took our oldest sister and she left us. We were there for a week. We were in our apartment that was on top of a church that only had one bedroom in Southeast DC. We were on we was in that apartment for a week. 
before somebody found us. My father didn't come to get us. Nobody. Then a family decided to adopt my oldest brother and my youngest brother. Let them see what a family was like. I was left behind. And my oldest cousin decided to take me into her house, her apartment. She didn't have anything, she, but she saw that I didn't have anything either. So she said, you know what? Let's not have anything together. And I appreciate her for that. Her name is Diane. My mother never came back to get me. 12, 10, 15 years later, my father never came back to get me. But my family thought it would be hilarious since I was, a, I was in the system. I wasn't yet adopted, but I was in the system. I was on welfare. They was on welfare too, but they thought it was funnier to just name me the welfare boy. They thought it was hilarious. So my whole life was trying to find a community, trying to find a family. That's the only reason why I called this YouTube channel the LFR family. And the people that I meet, and <laughs> the people that I meet on my channel who look out for me, it's amazing. It's phenomenal. Thank you so much for just believing in me. This came with a note. It says, this is a gift for you. It says, um, congrats on 100K. From DJ Joe, Shelly Craig, Jane J. Bird, WTF Jude, um, Timmy Brandon, EB, Sparkly Charlotte, and the rest of the LFR fam. I didn't even reach 100K yet. I was brought up a different type of way, man. And I know that a real man can cry. But I was brought up in a manner that you would almost have to shoot me in the face for me to shed a tear. But what I'm feeling right now is pure joy. Pure, unadulterated joy. Because you guys are so fucking amazing. I've always been an entertainer because even at a, at a younger age, because I wanted to get out and away from the family who named me Welfare Boy. I think I fucking found my home, man. I think I found my community. I think I found my family, the LFR family. We're going to meet inside of the Patreon tonight to discuss a bunch of things. It would be amazing if you guys joined us. Thank you so much to you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Craig. Thank you, Timmy. Thank you, DJ. Thank you, EB. Thank you, Shelly. Thank you, Jay Bird. Thank you, WTF. Thank you, Jude. Who's a fucking dog? That's Jay Bird and WTF's dog. Thank you, Near Legend. Thank you, Brandon. Thank you, Joe Reyes. Thank you, Carl. Thank you, Jeremiah. 
Thank you, Alan. And shout out to Alan, who is doing a hell of a job. He's, man, he just now went on a huge interview and he killed it. Shout out to you, Alan. You're going to get that job. Shout out to Osa Cat. Shout out to Michael Baldwin. Shout out to Laura. Shout out to Boss Lady D. Shout out to LFR Jojo, LFR Naya. There's so many of you guys that just support the channel, and I apologize if I don't name your name. I shouldn't have just named anybody because we talk so much that I, I, I know a lot of these people. I know a lot of you all from all over the freaking world, man. Shout out to Jane and Kevin from Ireland. Shout out to our new friends from Australia. Shout out to our new guy who just now joined the Patreon, Josh. Shout out to our new friends from the Hangover Gang. Thank you all so much. Y'all are fucking amazing. Even our old friends that no longer even visit the channel, Dakota McGee, Curry on Soul. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate I appreciate you guys. As soon as I'm able to do this full time, you are going to have the best channel on YouTube. Trust me on that. I mean that with all my heart. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. And my people have got me freaking Mac, a, a, a MacBook, a headphones, a green screen, freaking ring light. Sending me clothes, all types of things. Trust me, none of you go unnoticed. None of you go unnoticed. Toys. Just toy figure, figures to put in the videos. Thank you. Fucking thank you. And a lot of people called me concerned after my last video. Like, Van, what the fuck? You okay, bruh? Who hating on you? We ready to ride on their ass. No need. There's no point. Because when you have so much love, what's the point of fo focusing on hate? It's absolutely no point. Sometimes people just want to vent. Sometimes I just want to say what's on my mind, what's in my heart. That's it. I don't need anybody to ride on nobody. That was my whole upbringing, riding. Singing at my friends, best friends' funerals at the age of 14 and 15. Don't know how many funerals I done sung at. It's ridiculous. And of course, you know what natural causes. But now look at Welfare Boy. With a whole family called the LFR family. Thank you so much, guys. I love you guys. Thank you. And not for what you give me, but the fact that you communicate with me, you share with me, you give a fuck. That's why I love y'all, because you give a fuck. My entire life is all out. All I wanted was somebody to give a fuck. I'm going to shut the fuck up because I'm not about to cry in front of people that I know ain't the fuck about to happen. God damn it. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you all. Y'all are amazing. I don't do a whole bunch of unboxing. I apologize. But hopefully you do know that I appreciate you. And I want to be considerate of your feelings. And knowing that I'm not just opening shit up all sparingly. Like throwing it, throwing the boxes to the corner. Like man, shit, look what just came in. Another one. Nah, I ain't DJ Cap. I fuck with you guys. Thank you so much. 
Thank you for the information you give me. Thank you for the companionship. Thank you for the conversations. Thank you for introducing me to your family. Shout out to Raylan and Riley. I don't know what to say, man. And again, if I didn't name you and you are one of my guys that I speak to on the regular, I apologize. I really do. Charge it to my mind and not my heart. I really do apologize. All right, that's all I got, guys. Later. And hopefully we put on a great 100K party for everyone.